What's going on YouTube? As you guys can see, I'm in a tank top right now. That's because I went to the gym. Hope you guys are working out hard for all you people who love to work out. It's really good for you. It's really healthy. Get that muscle in. Go hard. Super Saiyan style. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the PS3, PS4, Switch, Switcheroo, Transformation. Oh my god, I'm so good. Uh, excuse my language. But either way, I'm going to try not to cut as much as possible. I wanted to straight on talk to you guys about the whole thing and about the situation. A lot of you guys know that we're most likely switching to the PS4 for Black Ops 3. I know I'm a little bit late with the topic. I was supposed to do it earlier. But I've been slacking and I've been doing other videos and stuff like that. But I really wanted to talk about it because it is what everybody's talking about right now. So I want to talk a little bit about it and explain to you some things and hopefully get you guys on a little bit happier note. I don't know. A lot of you guys are, are really unhappy about the situation. And I, I see why. I can agree. And I'm the type of person I really like to uh, you know understand. And I have a lot of sympathy. Yeah, sympathy for people. And it sucks for a lot of people, to be honest. Uh, for pros, it isn't that bad. There's about three reasons why it is. Holy, I just jumped over his head. Three reasons why it isn't that bad for pros. One, obviously, Scuff can send us a, a free PS4 Scuff. Well, not, well, technically free. You know, we, we're sponsored by them. We promote them. And, you know, they send it to us. We really don't have to pay for anything. And it's good for them because we're obviously repping the controller and stuff like that. But on the other hand, like, you guys have to pay for a new one. You know, a lot of you guys got to scuff. And trust me, it is expensive. I agree 100% with that. And a lot of you guys don't have the money. You probably don't, aren't financially stable to buy one right now. And, or worse, you already bought one recently. And now you hear, oh, we're going to PS4. So now you have to buy one for the PS4. So I hear a lot, you know, Xbox or you riot, stuff like that. And I think the main reason is it because the PS4 sucks. I think the main reason is because due to what I was talking about earlier, and it goes more than that, you know, it, uh, you have to buy a PS4 as well. Not all of you have a PS4, you suck, you suck, you suck. Okay, never mind, I suck, but, you know, it's it's crazy to think about it. It's crazy about the situation, but it isn't 100% guaranteed. And the whole thing about this is, you know, you guys saw the, you saw PS3 or PlayStation have the, pretty much the rights are going to have be getting the DLC first and all the, all, all the good stuff, you know. And it's pretty much, I would say, 90, 80% guaranteed that we will be switching to PlayStation, but it is 100% yet. You know, there's no complete confirmation. We won't know until either the, until Black Ops is almost released or until it's released what we will be doing. But either way, you know, I think the main thing is it's either going to be a really good thing or a really bad thing. And I think the biggest reason is it has to do with call chance. So, you know, if we're either going to have a call chance next year or we're not, and I feel like... If Sony did buy it and are really interested in working with us and, you know, wants to work with Activision, it is Activision, right? And all that stuff, then that's a good thing because they're obviously going to start hosting probably more tournaments. They're going to maybe put more money in the prize pool and things like that. And that's very, you know, I'm very excited for that. And uh, hopefully that is what things are looking and I hope that, uh, hopefully that's what's going to happen. But either way, you know, it's not 100% guaranteed, but I do feel bad for the people who need to buy a PS4. I need to buy one as well. And who need to read buy scuff? And I'm sorry, guys, from behalf of the whole community and scuff and everybody. I want to take my time to apologize to you guys because I know it sucks. It's not guaranteed yet, though. But I think it is going to be changed the way things are looking. It is going to happen. But you know, nothing's for certain yet, right? So let's not let's not go haywire. Let's not go get all worried. But I would recommend you guys, I guess, to save some money. Uh, Scuff is really useful in Call of Duty now. Almost everyone owns them. If you don't have one, you're kind of at a disadvantage. Not every pro uses it, but it is recommended and you should have one. Not saying this to promote them. I'm really saying this because I love the Scuff controller and it has helped me improve my the gameplay by a lot. You know, it helps, it helps me improve like crazy with the paddles, especially allowing me to jump and aim at the same time is amazing. And I don't play Claw, guys. I, I, I don't play Claw. I'm going to win this shit, guys. For, for you guys, I fucking outgun them. Cause I'm a champion. I I used to win champions. I I, I don't know, man. I, I need to start winning again. So like I said, the Switch is either gonna be a really good thing or a really bad thing. I personally don't mind it. I love the PlayStation. I grew up with a PlayStation instead of the Xbox. You know, I I love the dome sticks. I love playing PS3 for Black Ops One. It was on PlayStation. It was PS3. And you know, I don't mind it at all. The only main concern and the main thing is for you guys, the community as a whole. You know, that's the main problem. And because you know, it's all about money in the end. You have to pay for these. A lot of you guys are young. You don't have jobs. And you have to buy a PS4. Now you have to buy a Scuff. And I had the same problem back in the day because I didn't own a PS3. And I had to buy one for Black Ops 1. But, 
you know, it's it sucks. You know, the, the situation kind of sucks, but there's nothing we can do. If they decide to switch, we're just going to have to adapt, rotate, move to the PlayStation and work with it. And on the bright side, like I said, hopefully they do want to work with us. They do want to improve esports and make it better like the LCS, I believe that's called, for League of Legends and stuff like that. And it hosts like crazy tournaments and it'll build a fan base up. And I'm really excited that's what they want to do. That's what they're going to do. And for Black Ops 3, man, like they're doing it in a perfect game. I can't wait. I'm very excited. And like I said, guys, I'm really sorry. Uh, we don't know yet if it's going to happen. It's most likely happening. But I will not confirm it. I will not say it's official because I do not know. Nobody knows right now. And we're not going to know until Black Ops 3, like I said, maybe before the release date a week or two or when it releases. So either way, guys, like I said, to save some money if you can. And I'm sorry. Hopefully, you know, it's, it sucks. But either way, I'm excited to be playing on a new console if it happens. And Sony, you know, I, I believe they're going to be a wonderful company wonderful group of people and to support us and help us a lot so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's video boy happy to have you got to the gym